Hey, welcome guys. Welcome to this uh, investigation video. Today we're looking at protest number 44 of the current season. Um, this time we are in the GT3 fixed series. Uh, round 6 at Mugello. Uh, and we are on lap 1. Um, so there's a battle here for position. Not entirely sure which position at this time so probably seventh or nine something like that at the race start i don't know much about this track we're i don't know where we are exactly but uh let's take a look at half the speed let no let's go full speed first and uh see what's going on Okay, let's go with this one. This car. Okay. Um, this one's gonna be interesting. I feel like the track. So, first, definite um, overlap, would you agree? So, both cars totally leveled. I mean, side by side. So, we are expecting them to leave each other's space. Let's go from the cockpit view. Um, from the car th on the left side. Okay, same from the car on the, the other side. Alright, I think uh, what this one requires a top view angle. So currently I'm, I'm fixed on the black car. So of course I'll try, I'll show different angles so the stewards can see what's going on. Um, using fixed cameras on cars can introduce some some biased uh, perspective because camera follows this car so it kind of gives you the impression that you have to write the B there and that's the other car that came to you uh, at first it does look like the the white and blue car on the left did not leave uh, enough space on the exit so they had different tra uh, trajectory so the white car was I think I'm gonna leave it there so he's still turning left right but he's flat on fourth gear so you're not gonna turn a lot right uh, pointed at the next uh, apex which is about there so kind of driving without, again, th those are my first take, uh, uh, first in impressions. Um, feel like he drives like there's nobody on the right side. Uh, on the other end, for this driver already turning right. Oh, I'm not on the, not on the right car. That's why. 
All right. So pointing at trying to find somewhere the apex, probably the green paint there. So of course it needs to turn. So look at the angle of the wheel here. Wow. It's pretty, uh, pretty similar, right? Same speed, same steering angle. But here, where the contact happens, there's still some space at the right, but I mean, they're pointing to the... He's n not anymore pointing in the direction, right? Again. Yeah, he'll probably understeer uh, towards the... All right, tough call, tough call. Uh, that's why I have a team. So um, I'll I'll leave it there. We'll uh, well we'll try to determine the, which driver's fault it was, and afterwards if it uh, requires a penalty. Have a nice day, everyone.